everyone. So where are you chatting from? We have here Fausto. Hi, people. I'm from Paraíba do Sul, but I'm speaking from Sao Paulo. There is Tibor. I think it's the third meetup he's here this week. There's already people talking amongst each other. I'm from Manaus. I speak from Mossoró. So I'm hearing people speaking from many different parts of the world, and especially from Brazil. Just to make a quick check here. Can you hear me? If you can, reply on the chat so that we can get start on the right foot. I'm from São José do Campos. Can you hear me? Sim, ok, so you can hear me. We're having replies here in Portuguese, in English. This is a very global meetup. Thank you, Di Diogo and Nicolas, for uh, confirming. So I have a very, very special guest today. She's coming all the way from Brazil to speak to GDG Cloud London. Come here, Jessica, tell us a little bit about you. Hi, everyone. I appreciate being here. Thank you, Amanda. My friends are watching me in you on YouTube. I love you. My great friends. And so I'm I'm so proud to be here representing my country. Uh, so let's start now. Huh? I chose a topic very important to speak here. The importance of science and time of fake news. My name is Jessica Costa. I'm from Brazil. Let's go. Thank you, GDG Cloud London. Who I am? It's my photo and other events. I like so much my uh, photos and nicknames. Jack Jessica Jones. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jessica. I'm a software engineer and data analyst in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I was not born in Rio de Janeiro, but I live now here. Bachelor degree in information system for Federal University of Sergipe. And I have worked with technology community since 2016. Now, I'm, I can... I will try a new challenge. I was a community manager, but it's a new step in my life. First, I choose a concept very important to say here to answer, to answer this question. What's science? The intellectual and practical activity encompassing the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the physical and natural world through observation and experiment. This concept is very important to understand what science. Science is based in keywords. Uh, let's emphasize systematic study, observation and experiment. It's not opinion. Uh, science works with validation, okay? And, and fake news. Fake news is a term famous, famous today because political problems, social and economic. Election and few years, are problematic in the world because fake news are common to help uh, some candidates and elections and presidential elections. So let's first to understand what's fake news. Fake news is a term used to refer to fabricated news, opinions, fears, without proof. It's important to emphasize this not proof our opinions remember this information is false but it seems truth fake news is famous today but existed a long time ago 
Fake news has existed since human civilization began to communicate. People talk and telling many information, true or no. But today we have a problem, digital technology. Digital technology bring many information, access and velocity, but bring problems too. Digital technology helps spread fake news. People read, they notice the article and share other people. But it's true or not? It's complicated because fake news can bring great, uh, big problems in the world. And it's important to emphasize here, don't share fake news, okay? Let's, let's answer here. Difference between size and fake news. Fake news and, and size are different. First, size deserve facts, ask questions, formulate hypotheses and validate them. It's important to explain. Size have a process to follow. Observe facts, ask questions, formulate hypotheses and validate them. Not opinions. It's important to validate to find the truth. Fake news are opinions and fewer without proof. I believe, I share, great. Without compromise with truth. I like so much this, uh, this phrase. Ignorance of the truth or technology that is not expected upon can be fatal. Fake news is not a, fake news, not a joke. It's a big problem, can be fatal. Actually, uh, today we have a big problem in the world, the epidemic of COVID-19. In my country, we have 20,000 people confirmed and 1,000 people deaths. It's terrible because many people don't believe in, in rec scientific recommendations. For example, the isolation. To and I would like to I would like him to send a message to my country and the world too. Please follow the scientific recommendation. Staying home. Fake news are false. Scientific information have proof, have validation, prevent problems. And let's answer one more question. It's false, but what do people believe in fake news? Some reasons. Let's talk about. The first reason, confirmation bias. What's confirmation bias? It's important to understand. Confirmation bias is the tendency to believe that certain idea is true because people want to be. I want to be, it's truth, and it is. Uh, yesterday was truth, and today it is. But no, maybe, this truth today is not is not truth more. It's a past information. Don't represent the reality. It's so I like so much. It's so natural to ignore everything to disagree with. Humans have the tendency to ignore everything to disagree with you, even though truth. Other reason. People can be accepted by the social group and resistant change their minds. We want acceptance and disagree can represent rejection from the group. It's complicated to accept this situation. My group don't accept me because 
I disagree. Other reason, people believe in the wrong things because they're lazy, uniformly. Lazy, Jessica, yes, lazy. People don't check uh, received information. I receive an information, an article, a video, an audio, and I don't check it. I'm sure for other people, even no or false. It's a problem. It's a great, it's a big problem. Please don't share information. If you, if you not, and aren't sure the truth, check, please. And uniform, Jessica, yes. To, to be uh, informed people, you need to read, to think, and discuss. Because information is based on evidence, not opinions of other people. Remember, observe the facts, ask questions, formulate the hypothesis, and validate the dance. It's what scientists do. And how to avoid spreading fake news? I like so much this infograph because I have many recommendations. Let's read now. First, consider the search. You receive the information. Investigate it. The source of this information, of the information. Click away from the story to investigate the site. It's a mission, it's contact info. Try to understand uh, the source. Read Big Young. Read lines can be a treasure and afford to be clicks. What's the whole story? Read more. Other sites, other sources, other author. It's important, but they my my opinion and several sources. Check the author. It's very important, this recommendation. Do a quick search of the author. Are they credible? Are they real? The author is true. She writes good information with sources, with based on evidences or only opinion. Supporting searching. Click on those links. Determine if you give actual support to stories. Other links speak the same information. Check the date. Please, it's more important because past information is not, is not enough for, for now. Check the date. Reposting old news story doesn't mean they are relevant to current events. Uh, now we many people using this this problem this problem using uh, past information to confirm situations, but it's past information. It's not truth now. It's a joke. For example, in my country, we have a site the Sensationalista. Sensationalista is a joke joke site. So, please, it's a joke, not the truth. If you're too old to end, I might be saturated, saturated, saturated. Important to, to emphasize it here. J joke aside, saturated sides is not the truth. It's a joke, only joke. Research the site in order to be sure. Uh, and last a slide, I'm talking about bias confirmation bias check your bias concede if you don't believe it could affect your judgment our judgment affecting uh well uh our beliefs i believe i share it's true but not my judgment uh don't don't can't affect it for my beliefs i need evidence I need test, I need validation, I need tests. Ask the expert. 
science. Ask a librarian or consult a fact-checking site. I recommend you talking about expert scientists, an expert area. Uh, discuss about uh, the topic. It's important because you base your opinion, basing your opinion in facts, in evidence. Avoid share fake news and opinions the other people on yours. Your opinion is important, but you need to, you need to understand your opinion is not the truth. It can be only opinion. It can it can affect other people because they are cons they are can consider truth. I'm a software engineer. You know, like so much AI uh, algorithms, and I, I'd like to emphasize this slide about about inter, inter, artificial intelligence against fake news. Yes, uh, we are using artificial intelligence to detect the fake news because it's a complicated work, and artificial intelligence also made this the this detection. Research, I use various AI algorithms like recurrent neural network, IDNN, multilayer perceptrons, super vector machines, SVM, Bayesian classifier. Now I work with uh, support vector machines and uh, classifiers. In general, I uh, recently I, I began to, under, to study uh, time series too, to understand better some, algor uh, some algorithms AI. AI words. Uh, I would I would like to emphasize this this paper. Take an instance of fake news. It's a work that computer sci of computer computer science, and the objective is detecting fake news. Take instance in fake news towards automatic disinformation assessment via deep learning bidirectional transformer language model of systems detection. Uh, I put uh, links of these papers in my slides. Amanda, remember me to share this, this slides, please. And the posture detection and the essence detection, the, the real point of view is verified for them against or neutral. It's important to verify it's for, against, or narrow. It's a good feature to detect the fake news. Remember, AI algorithms work with features and classifiers of other techniques. Supervising learning, unsupervising learning, several techniques to detect. I saw some research in the in classifiers, classifiers supervised, and class unsupervised too. I prefer to work with supervising algorithms because it's more easy to train in my, my neural network or my algorithms. Yesterday, I read a uh, new the, of the New York Times. A fake news are spread and cause a big problem. Burning cell towers out of a basal sphere, they spread the virus. This article shows the importance of science to detect fake news and to find the truth. Let's read now. A conspiracy theory linked the spread of the coronavirus to 5G wireless technology has spurred more than 100 incidents this month, Brits OSHA say. Uh, my friends, it's important to say it's a physical study. Wave don't spread virus. 5G is a wave and electronic spectrum, electronic magnetic spectrum, call it radio waves, like 4G, like radio. It does not spread virus. It's a physical study. It's a scientific explanation. 
um, how to spread virus first to spread virus you need contact physical the affected of fact, infected people not to waves fewer cons conspiracy theories causing problems like that so please don't share wrong information don't share fake news considering to understand uh, discuss hypothesis validate and please read more don't share this information for example has spur more than 100 accidents and south towers communication problems in the country don't happy people to cause more problems we have many problems enough i would like to to show a message very important in the world we live in, in the post-truth times it's terrible because i respected i expected better world more information more technology car cars flying but today we have an epidemic and an ignorance of in ignorance of scientific uh, knowledge you need to understand scientific technology develop the world improve the world if you if you want the better world you uh, we need to believe in the science you need to help the scientists collaborate and follow this recommendation please believe in science and stay in home stay in home my reference thank you so much amanda Uh, if you if you have any question, please send me an email to an email and Jessica dot se dot info uh, gmail dot com. Thank you so much. See you later. I muted. Woo! Jessica, before you go. I just would like to put some messages here that you received. You had so many people cheering for you. Your talk was so amazing. People were engaged. Let me show you one. Uh, you also asked me to remind you to show some links. Yes. I'm going to share my, my presentation. Okay. There are links of papers and reference to my presentation because I use it more as uh, several several work so several papers and sites to base it my my presentation very very good you have people from all around the world here leaving you messages in, in different languages so folks I hope that after this talk you're not going to just share things on WhatsApp and other social media. And if people are doing it, call them out on that. Tell them to come and watch this talk. It's going to be available online. Thank you so much for your time, Jessica. Have a good Thank one. You, you in Brazil, you right? uh, four hours. Yeah, so enjoy your afternoon. Thank you. Good, good night in London. And Ooh, good night, Brazil. Brazilian expectors. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. See you.